hello students uh, today we are going to start the new chapter and the new chapter is integers okay so uh, in the last class we studied what do you mean by natural number and whole number right so <clears throat> natural number was 1 2 3 4 5 and so on right and what was whole number whole number was just we included 0 with along with the natural number right so 0 1 2 3 4 5 now again the little extension of this is integers okay so uh, in integers we'll also consider the negative side like minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on okay means we will consider the negative side of a number line also so uh, basically if you draw a number line okay in the center it will be zero okay so this is the negative side negative side and this one is the positive side okay on the positive side will increase one two three four five and so on okay and the negative side you'll write minus one minus two so this is negative minus three minus four minus five and so on okay so this all that is uh, how can you define integers then if you want to define integers how can you define it the collection of <coughs> whole number and all negative numbers okay are called integers okay so uh, so out of this you you can clearly see this is negative minus one this one is positive one okay so between the negative and positive what is zero then is it negative or is it positive okay so zero is such number which is neither negative nor positive so it is not negative also it is not positive also okay so zero separates zero will separate between the negative side and the positive side okay so the positive side will be on the right hand side and on the left hand side we'll have negative numbers okay so so next what we will do is <coughs> uh, we will uh, try to see okay so uh, which one is uh, which of which among the given two integers are greater okay for example if i give you mine uh, one and five so which one is greater which one is greater obviously five is greater than one right isn't it now but if i give you minus one and minus five so which one is greater can you tell me which one is greater so in this case minus 1 is greater than minus 5 okay so you have to see okay if there is a negative sign in front of a number ne negative sign in front of a number then the more is the number the more is the number the lesser is its value means minus 100 is much much less than minus 1 okay so uh, this is the only difference for example if i give you 1 and 100 so which one is greater obviously 100 is greater right this one is greater this one is smaller but if i put minus 1 and minus 100 then this will be greater this will be smaller okay so after minus sign if the number is bigger its value is lesser okay okay because we have minus sign understood and between minus 1 and uh, one which one is greater so this one is greater obviously okay okay one is greater the positive is always greater okay so this is how you will separate which one is greater and which one is smaller okay so uh, uh, next uh, what we will do is Uh, we will start with the exercise so we'll start with exercise 5.2 that is page number 62 okay so uh, now the first one is add okay you have to add 
okay so number a is for question number one number a is 59 comma minus 14 so you have to add this two okay so um so how will you add see this 59 plus minus 14 okay so you have to add this two so here you can see we have two signs plus and minus all together right so what you will do you will now make it one so how will you make you remember this thing okay you always remember plus into plus is plus okay plus into plus is plus minus into minus is also plus okay plus into minus is minus and minus into plus is also minus so how will you remember you'll remember like term always adds like term always adds like term means you know what is like term plus plus minus minus that is same okay but when they are different always subtract like like plus into minus so they are different plus minus and this one minus into plus that is minus plus they are different they always subtract like terms always adds unlike terms always subtracts okay that is similar sign always adds and different signs always subtracts so here what we have uh, 59 plus minus that is plus into minus is always minus 14 okay so 59 minus 14 is how much now it's very easy to uh, easy to do this one right 59 minus 14 is how much now if you do you'll get 45 isn't it so you have to be careful with the sign okay so now here uh, we'll i'll do number b okay so number b is 415 comma minus 200 okay no uh, this one you can do it as a homework i'll do number c okay number c is quite a uh, somewhat different okay so minus 79 comma 78 so you have to add these two means minus 79 plus 78 so now uh, now what you have to do you have to see what you have to do okay minus into plus minus into plus is minus that means you have to subtract okay you have to subtract because minus into plus is minus so if you subtract what will you get 79 minus 78 1 but our task is not finished yet because we have to see the sign okay please uh, try to understand this one because this is very very important for your highest uh, classes okay so uh, you remember one thing first what i did i first checked the signs in front of two terms in front of 79 we had minus in front of 78 we had plus okay so we don't know what to do so uh, we will multiply sign minus into plus minus means we have to subtract now we know we have to subtract though it is given in the question as add right add only means in between these two we have to put put plus sign but that doesn't mean you have to add these two you have to see the signs minus into plus minus means we have to subtract so 79 minus 78 is 1 now what else is remaining you have to see which sign to put here whether you will write minus or plus okay for that you have to see the greater number so which one is greater between this two 79 and 78 which one is greater obviously 79 and in front of 79 what we have the sign minus right so here we have to write minus means we have to put the sign of a greater term did you get my point okay so uh, okay so uh, for I want you to make clear about this so we'll do one more that is question number D so minus 142 comma 207 comma minus 70 so we have to add this three okay this is the question i just copied the question only nothing else okay so this is question number d okay so what we have to do minus 142 okay so in place of comma we have to put plus because it is add right so plus 207 plus I'm putting bracket here because in front of 70 we have minus right so minus 70 isn't it so next what I will do now I'll open this bracket so others I will uh, write as it is 
so plus into minus minus okay so 70 okay so next uh, let us first do this two okay okay so if i do this two you can see minus into plus minus into plus because you have to see the signs in front of both the numbers right so here we have minus here we have plus so minus into plus minus that means you have to subtract so which one is greater this one so 207 minus 142 if you do how much will you get 65 isn't it if you do i hope you know how to subtract okay you have to subtract from bigger uh, from, subtract the smaller one from the bigger one obviously but you have to subtract because we have minus into plus minus okay so 65 so now which sign will we put here you can see which one is greater of this two this one and in front of 207 what we have plus so it will be plus only plus means we'll no need to write here minus 70 here that is remaining isn't it so next also what we have to do here in front of 65 we have plus if there is nothing the sign is plus okay so plus into minus minus isn't it that means we have to subtract again so subtract 70 minus 65 5 isn't it and which one is greater now the greater one is 70 so in front of 70 we have minus isn't it so we have to put minus so answer is minus 5 okay so in this way you have to do okay so um, you can do re remaining also so you can do b uh, number e number f and number g as your homework okay so next uh, in next we will do subtraction multiplication and division okay